Hey everyone, and welcome to our first cruise ever on Adventure of the Seas. It's day five. Uh, we're planning our day. And today's a day at sea. Today's a day at sea. So, okay, Devin, so what did we win at the arcade? Right. So, we got, uh, I'll save the best for last. Okay, so we got these little gosh farm things. It's a weird jelly ring with a kissy face. It's cute. So, obviously, I'll be keeping that. <laughs> This little keychain smiley guy. He's very cool. Cute. Oh, I guess he moves. Like an artist. Oh, weird. It's kind of jelly y. Yeah. And then Warren Cotton. The coolest thing. <laughs> Which is. A weird dolphin. A pink dolphin. A pink dolphin. Yes, yeah, so we finished using up Devin's little arcade credits. I gave him $25 of arcade credits as a little surprise. We just finished them out this morning because it's our last full day here. Awesome. Yeah, today's definitely a day about trying to fit in all the stuff we haven't done yet. Oh, what a weird ring. Oh, that'll be fun. We'll figure that out later. All right, we're at Cryptic Groups. Trivia challenge in the morning. We're having trouble, friends. We are having trouble. We're always having trouble. Trivia is just really hard. And after this is morning trivia, so this doesn't bode well. Like, we're not going to be in the right headspace for this. But we'll see. Number 14, the most western state in the USA is not Hawaii, it's Alaska. Did we say that? We did. It's Alaska. It's okay. We're doing very badly. All right. Well, we got that one right. We do have. We got this one right. Some of them were 30 days, but how many was 28? All of them. Did you like one? Ah, 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 ah. Tired, we did. Yeah, I know. People think it's just one. No, it's all of them have 28 days. Ah, we got nine out of 15. Did you like one? Fine, I got you. Okay. You think we'd get better? We got swag. Yeah. So there's the two for 30 sale today. And they had like new stuff. So we got, I got this one. Love it. It's, it's going to be a little baggy. They didn't have it in the size down, this design. But I really like it. I think it's cute. It's, it's just going to be baggy. It's very cute. It'll be a little baggy, but it's fine. It's cotton. It'll probably shrink a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then Devin got this one. Yeah. So Lauren's cruising through life. I'm apparently cruising through uh, paradise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, life, paradise. Same thing, right? One of them is a lot more stressful than the other one. Life? Life. <laughs> and stuff. No, they're great shirts. I really like the the, the retro vibe on mine. Yeah. And, uh, I think these Lauren's are, is really these, cute, like, too. graphic tees are fun, you know? So yeah. We're excited for that. And then we came back to the bill. <laughs> And information on deboarding, which is a bummer, and the tip and bloop. So, it's just a reminder that they're gonna kick us off tomorrow morning. Yeah, for sure. But um, at eleven, which is like a half hour, we've got the captain's corner Q and A thing in the lyric theater. So we're gonna head out for that. Yes. Which I'm excited about. That yeah. should be fun. We should probably go soon-ish because yeah. it's going to fill up quick, I think. Probably, yeah. I agree. Let's boogie. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning and welcome back to the Lyric Theatre for our Captain's Corner. This is a chance for you to get to find out what it is like to live and work here on board and what it takes to run a ship of this size. So I'll kick off by saying, uh, for those of you I haven't yet met, good morning, my name is Tanya, I'm your cruise director here on board. And unlike the maritime schooling that these guys probably have to go to, there is no maritime school for cruise directors. Uh, there's no school that you go to to learn to do this. Hogwarts for cruise directors. Okay, I can imagine, <laughs> sending owls for mail. Security officer and deputy security officer, they're both as big as a house, okay. which helps a lot. My deputy security officer has our arms as, as big as that opinion. We have a huge security team. You've seen them walking around the ship. But, you know, a ship at sea is like a small village, you know. Crimes happen in a village and crimes can happen on board the ship. So we have two brigs. 
Uh, one's called the Holiday Inn, one's called the Holiday Inn Express. And they're right down in the security office. And we, we only use them if we absolutely have to. Somebody's a danger to themselves or others, they can go in there. But most of the time when people misbehave, we send them to their cabin, we send them to, to bed without dinner. The officer says, somebody. Captain never leaves anybody behind, they just choose not to sail with us. <laughs> <laughs> So you probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it's currently snowing in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, that's interesting to see. We got hundreds of miles of open ocean in any direction. And we're in the middle of this huge, you can kind of see some blue skies behind us. But we just hit this huge fog bank, it looks like. But it's just straight up snowing. And oh shit, that was lightning. <laughs> That's so cool. So that is thunder. I kind of want more lightning to do its thing. What's happening? It's straight up snowing in the Gulf, in the Gulf of Mexico. How did you know? There's little snowflakes falling and it's raining. It's like slushing and raining. Like, look, look at it. If you look at the water, you can see it. Oh, yeah, it's raining. But there's also lightning. You just missed a huge lightning I slash thunder boom. I... So I, I got, I got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got it. What's her name says that at the trivia? It's just crazy weather. Yeah, of Well, you might jack it for two reasons. Did you tell them that we did trivia? Oh yeah, we did a Name That Tune 2000s trivia and we yeah. rocked it. Really well. We got like 13 out of 15. Yeah, 13, 13 out of 15. I was repeating what you said. Oh, 13 yeah. out of 15. 13 yeah. out of 15. And I feel like we would have gotten, I feel like the winners cheated. They got 15 out of 15. Right, and they said that they had 15 out of 15, but there was a mistake on one, and yes. they didn't say, they didn't say, yes. they didn't bring up that there was a mistake, yeah. which makes me think that they were just cheating. Right? Almost, said a, almost said a bad word there. We could also just be sore losers. I'm, ah. always, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> but it was fun. Because I knew, like, pretty much all of them. The two that I didn't know, like neither one of us, like ever Ooh. would have known that. We're just gonna get some thunder here in a second. Yeah, you mean lightning? Cause that's thunder right now. Here we just. We're gonna get us DMCA'd. They keep um, playing yellow on all these trivia things, and now it's just stuck in my head. They were all yellow. <laughs> and born performer, guys. <laughs> I don't know. We could go to the TikTok dance class. No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know how to do any of the TikTok dances. I'm so uncoordinated. I can't do any dancing. <laughs> Let's get your hands flapping around on the screen. <laughs> I think this all yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the... Wow. I like it. Yeah, this is amazing. It's not too bumpy or anything, you know? No. It's like a, we were talking about it earlier. It's more of a gentle roll. Yeah, you're like gently being rocked. But it's not that bad. I feel like even last night was worse with the weight down there, the weight. Yeah. No, I would last yesterday, yesterday afternoon and then last night was pretty crazy. Yeah. We had like... I don't know. I think the the captain said like seven foot waves, or was it set? Yeah, it's like seven foot waves. Yeah. It's like two, three meter, something like that. Yeah. I want to go down. Do you want to go down lower and see, or up higher? Sure. Okay. All right. So you can see some evidence of the storm because of all this water Whoa. piling up here. Honey. What? Do you see it? I literally just said it. <laughs> So 
that's kind of nutty. See all the all the folks up in the bridge. Hopefully monitoring the situation appropriately. I'm sure they are. <laughs> ah! Hit me right in the eyeball. I hate when that happens. This is so cool. Whoa! Got it! Got it! I got it! <laughs> oh god, it got me right in the ear. It went like inside my ear. <laughs> I feel like eyeballs worse. Poor Lauren, it's getting a little damp. It's crazy, like how you can hear like yeah, it really reverberates out here. Right? So we live in the mountains, so whenever we have thunder and lightning, it just kind of bounces around the valley we live in for a little bit and then leaves, but here it just it goes kind of everywhere. I wonder if we slowed down the storm. Yeah, the winds are... Winds aren't as bad as they were earlier, I feel, but yeah, the storm is... Pretty nutty. Show again. It was great. Mm -hmm. We're definitely moving more because a couple of them fell a couple of times. Yeah, they recovered nicely, thankfully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Didn't look like anybody was hurt. No, but it was really cool to see it again. It's such a good show. I'm so impressed by it. Right. I really, really am. I wasn't expecting it to be much, but it was so good. <clears throat> so it's fun to get to see it again. I got a bit of a headache because the music was really loud in there. So I think we're just going to relax in our room for a little bit. Harry Potter trivia is at 5. I really want to do that. We still haven't eaten at the main dining room, though. But no, I think it's going to happen this time. Five. Yeah, all the cool trivia and stuff happens at 5. So right. might not happen this cruise, which will be weird. But, oh, well, so might be Windjammer tonight. Yeah. All right, so main dining rocks. We haven't even eaten the food yet. Ah, well, we got cool people who... Yeah, so we decided, I don't know, for better or for worse, to do the main dining room tonight for dinner instead of the Harry Potter trivia. Could be the biggest mistake of our lives or the best decision of our lives. Devin's already saying best. I'm waiting until I eat the food to decide. Um, yeah, what if we won Harry Potter trivia? I know. That's what I mean. So, we made our choice. We're here. It's too late now. So, but I think it oh, is wow. good because I am excited to try the main dining room for dinner. We haven't done it yet. You know, it's an included staple of the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. So, it's we have interesting um, to see. They have French onion soup, so I'm already, I'm already sold. I know. Yeah, we'll see. All right. So the appetizers are out. We got French onion soup that looks just astonishing and bread and Lauren's 
She removed all of her croutons, but she got Because it's wasted calories. I'd rather eat the bread. She got an amazing looking salad. Without the dressing or the croutons. So it's really just lettuce and lettuce cheese. And cheese <laughs> but that's what I call healthy. Liars. <laughs> so I made a, a faux pas and Lauren well Lauren says I made a faux pas. She's blaming me. You made me use the dessert <laughs> fork for my salad. <laughs> I used the wrong fork and now I have no dessert fork. So I'm gonna eat my cake with the hands? I don't know. Like an animal. Like an animal. <laughs> The salad was good. What did you think of your soup? Did you take a big slurp of water? That was loud. <laughs> it was great. I liked it. Good. Okay, bye. He's coming. Thief. She stole my carrot. You let me. The carrot's good. Got you red handed. Okay. Right. So we got like a pesto, pesto pasta. Which hopefully is the same as the pesto pasta we had the other night at uh, Giovanni's because that was really good. Mm -hmm. And I got the steak and baked potato. See how it goes. <laughs> Looks like somebody doesn't have a dessert fork. Oh. <laughs> what? Moment of truth. No, oh, we didn't put our stuff out. <laughs> we left them out. Your mind's like cross, cross arms. Yeah. <clears throat> I must have left them out. Your monkey's cute. Can't do much with Snorlax's arms. No. He's a stubby little fellow. I'll take it. Okay, dinner reveal? Yes. That was really good. I was surprised. I think, so we've watched a lot of cruise videos on YouTube in preparation for this trip and for any, you know, just... Just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. Um, and I thought the main dining room would be bad. And I think you kind of avoided it because of that. Um, but it was actually surprisingly good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I give it what I had. So the Caesar salad, the tagliatelle pasta with the pesto and the chocolate cake, I give that all 10 out of 10. And the carrot and broccoli <laughs> that I had of yours, I'd give a 10 out of 10. And your little apple thing for dessert was a 10 out of 10. The bread was good. Like, they were very friendly. The wait staff, I felt really bad that we hadn't met them before today. <laughs> Just um, the last day of the ship. <clears throat> but they were very friendly. Okay, Devin, your take, your dinner, review, out of 10. Uh, it was fine. What would you say? Maybe it's... Maybe you it's liked seven. the soup. Give it a seven. You Solid liked seven. the potato and the vegetables, and you liked your dessert and my dessert. Yes. And the bread. I like my dessert a little more. The only thing you didn't like was the steak. Yeah. I feel like that's 7.5 at least. <clears throat> Uh, but, but yeah, my steak was, I ordered it medium rare and it came definitely rare. Uh, and they didn't use, uh, it didn't have a good enough sear. Like they just didn't, when you do a rare steak, you have to sear it really well. So, mm -hmm. the inside, so it gets all like crispy and charred, like charred on the outside and you have to mm -hmm. it on the inside. But it was just kind of grilled on the mm -hmm. outside and still just mostly raw on the inside. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Steak is hard to prepare. Steak's hard. hard. I get it. Yeah, I'm not really holding that against them. It was it was great. The service was amazing. Obviously, they know what they're doing here, uh, and everything else, literally everything else around the steak was top notch. Even the stuff on the steak, the butter, yeah, was great. I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I would do it again on a different cruise ship. I I would go out of my way to like to the main yes. dining room and. We learned something that we didn't know. We thought we had to be there at 5 because that was the time frame that they said. 
But it seems like based on the signs and based on what people were doing that there's a window. You could get there. So normally this dinner time is 530, 5.30. But they bumped it up. I don't know if that's just for this ship, just for this cruise or whatever. But when we first got on it said it'd be at 5 instead of 5.30. Um, but there was a 45 minute window. You could do any time between 5 and 5.45. So we could have done Harry Potter trivia yep. and booked it to the dinner and still been fine. <clears throat> yeah, so that's one of the things, <clears throat> that's one of my gripes. I don't have very many. This is an amazing trip and I love this. I love the ship and I have a lot of fun. But for first time cruisers, especially for first time cruisers, um, there aren't like tutorials on how to yeah. So, like, we didn't know there was a window. We didn't know. <clears throat> and there were a couple of other things we'll, we'll talk about in a later video, but there were a couple of other little things that we as first-time cruisers just didn't know. And yeah. that other cruise vlogs that we watched. We watched didn't, of yeah, didn't touch on. None of them touched on it. Yeah. I, like, that you just get up when right. you're done in the main dining room. You just leave. You can, like, wave goodbye or say thank you, you know, obviously, but yeah. you don't, like, wait for a check to sign or anything you know so there's a couple of like decorum things and like processes <laughs> sorry i kind of moved away from you <laughs> just like minor minor yeah stuff. yeah and we'll talk about it in another one but overall i'm overall, satisfied right. yeah it was amazing i would absolutely do it again yeah for sure me too so it's like six ish maybe a little bit after six show the com comedian is at seven so we'll probably go down and Half hour 45 and get a spot for that. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. What's the comedian? Is it Rodney Johnson? I think so. We'll say at the beginning of the next clip. Ooh, spooky. All right, so we're at the farewell show. Lauren, what are your predictions on what this is going to be? I don't know. If it includes the orchestra and the dancers and stuff, I have no idea. And the singers, <laughs> right? I have no clue. And the comedian, I thought it was just a comedy show. So I have no clue what this means. So we were kind of talking about it. We're thinking maybe, maybe it's going to be like a variety show. Maybe I don't know how close my face is to the camera. Sorry. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. So, who knows? We'll see. I just got the end of that, and it was great. All right, so do you want to show them our our, yes, our spoils? We, we took our prize tickets from trivia. We only won the cartoon trivia, but a very nice group gave us their tickets at the cartoon Ooh, ten event. Ten tickets. Um, which was really nice of them, so we were able to get some more stuff. First, we have the tote, which I don't know why they spelled on the little prize redemption sheet. They spelled it T-O-T-T-E. So I've never seen it spelled that way. Is it a British thing? I don't think so. Maybe they just spell it wrong. <laughs> it should just be T-O-T-E. T-O-T-E, yeah. I would think. I don't know. Anyway, it's English teacher and me that I get caught up on that. Um, And then we got a highlighter, which sounds cool. It's a clippy one, which I'm pumped about. We're going to potentially add it to like a cruise go bag or something like that. Yeah. So we can mark stuff on compasses and whatnot that we like. And I don't want to open this because this will be difficult. To put it back in but it's a bag within a bag it just has the royal caribbean logo on it it's a reusable bag so yeah. for like groceries or whatnot and then i got a little light up ring left over from their 
70s disco night and we didn't go to that so i'm glad that i got one mm -hmm. i'm gonna drive our cats crazy with so this. lauren can rave well those lights will still be on I mean, that's a pretty good effect. It's pretty cool, right? It's really bright. So, yeah. We did pretty good. Yeah, not a bad haul. pumped. It's bright again. Yeah. I am sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, 2023 is where it's at. Yeah, even though sure. we've got 30 videos already of all the crazy trips we did last year. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be a good year. Yes. All right. See you in the next one. <laughs>